Hello everyone. Hope this is a good evening for you. Welcome to Stamp with Barb. I am happy that you are jumping in. And of course, we want to get this shared to uh, the other group page. So that is happening. And how's everybody doing? I have had a pretty good day. I'm getting excited. I have vacation next week. And I am looking forward to our on stage that is was supposed to be our convention in um, Salt Lake. And of course, our beautiful situation will not um, allow us to get together. And so we are having a virtual convention next weekend. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Well, goodness. Um, if you're just jumping on, thanks for joining me. And I am just trying to get this shared over to Stamp with Barb Writer. And if you are on here, if you're just jumping that on, would be thanks. great. Okay, so share more options, share to a group. And when I go to my group, I don't see, oh, there we are. All right, hopefully the other people on the other group page will now see us. Hello, hello. It's been a long week, Linda. Yes, yes, yes. I hear you on that. I am, I can't wait for my vacation. So I um, have a couple cards here for you to see. And those yes. cards yes. are um, a couple things that I've been working on. I have a whole bunch I'm going to show you in the middle here in a second. As everybody's jumping on, um, they, um, anyway, I've been having some fun. So, hey, I see Nancy and Taryn jumped on. Hello, hello. Um. But just to tell you about the cards, uh, this card right here, I'm going to bring it up a little closer to the camera. Um, this is my take on one of the samples that's in the catalog in the June to December catalog. And uh, it's on page 43 in the Pines. And um, so if you have a catalog, you can take a look. But this is my take on this card right here. So... It's super easy to take something in the catalog and make it your own. Just use those layouts. They're perfect. I'm working on a class for In the Pines. I have that in the works. I'm also um, working on a class with the Heartworm. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, I let someone borrow the stamp set. But anyway, um, the Heartwarming Hugs. Let me see here. Uh, the designer paper and this one of the stamp sets that are there that's in there um, super cute so hi Deborah I see you're just jumping on anybody else is jumping on thank you so much um, let me show you this one a little closer I don't know if you guys have seen but these little stars are the cutest darn things this is oh let me see here let me grab the they're from the all the trimmings embellishments, and you get these red dots, white dots, and the stars, which are pretty cool. I haven't used them a whole lot. This is the Poinsettia, play, uh, Poinsettia pay, designer paper, which is on sale, 15% off. You only have a couple more days left, so make sure to grab yours. You ordered the trees? Awesome, Linda. You won't regret it. I know every year we say, oh, I've already got snowflakes. Oh, I've already got trees. But let me tell you what, they, the, in the pines, I love it. And the, also the, um, oh my goodness, the snowflakes, you know, I played a little bit with it last week and uh, I've been, I'm going to be working with it a little more, but I've been focusing on trying to get my classes put together. November's a big month. 
So I'll have lots of classes going on uh, November and December, even though we've got holidays and stuff. Um, doesn't sound like a lot of people are going to be traveling. So guess what? You can stamp, right? <laughs> All right. So there's two cards for you. Um, I'm going to put those out of the way and we're going to get started. I've got a, a few projects um, that I think you'll like for this evening. So let me go ahead and grab our first project. Now, you guys know that um, uh, October is um, breast cancer month. So I thought I would uh, do a card, uh, a pink card, um, and see what you think. Um, it, I was inspired by a fellow demonstrator by the name of... You get her name, Christy Gridley. And um, anyway, I saw her layout and I decided to copy that. I also have another sample that I did and I want to uh, see at the end which one you like best. So let me grab my things and we will get started with our stamping. So I have taken uh, the powder pink and we're going to use Flirty Flamingo. And the, excuse me, powder pink, we no longer have. Or wait, is that a different color? I don't know. <laughs> this is Blushing Bride. Brush, blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. Those are the colors we're going to use, okay? All right, so there we are. And I have Whisper White, and I also have Blushing Bride paper. I think I mentioned that. I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo um, blends too. Um, the first thing we're going to do is I have cut a piece of the um, metallic edge ribbon in the white. And I may have showed you this before, but we're going to do it again if I haven't. Um, we are going to color the ribbon. And this works so easy, you guys. Here's what you do. You just color it like this. And I think I have the bullet tip in and I need the brush tip in. There we go. All right. So that's all you do. You just take the brush tip end and you just color that ribbon. Okay. And as this dries, it's going to be beautiful color. Okay. This one is the light. I may have used the dark on the my other sample, but here's what we're going with. Thanks for joining if you're just popping on. I'm glad that you decided to, to stamp with me or watch me stamp, I guess, and then take the ideas and then stamp on your own. Okay, so I brought out a stamp, uh, a, um, stamp set that we haven't used in a while, and it's called Dressed to Impress. Now, tell me that's not a girly stamp set. It's beautiful. I, I like it. I didn't use it as much as I would have liked to. So... I'm going to be using this one. Um, and the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to be stamping. Uh, I'm just, I did this first so it would dry. As it starts drying, it turns more of the Blushing Bride color. So I'm going to set that aside still yet. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to use our Memento Black. And I have a, the first thing is we're going to stamp on this little piece, which is two and a quarter by three inches. We're going to stamp with our Memento Black. And we're going to take the perfume stamp. It's a perfume bottle. Hey, Jackie, howdy. And this is going to get stamped right over here on the side. Okay. And I am going to wash as I go, you guys. So I know it takes two seconds, but I can't hardly stand it when I have all these um, blocks that have stuff all over them. <laughs> okay, and then Hello Fabulous. Now, if you guys have known anybody that's gone through cancer treatment or dealing with cancer, you know that many days... They don't feel well. And for someone to get this card in the mail and just encourage them and tell them that they're fabulous, that would be a beautiful thing. So we've got, that's what we're using with our black. 
Uh, the next thing we're going to do is take our um, Blushing Bride. And I have uh, the, the splotch um, that's in the set, the large one. And I am going to ink this up. And I am going to stamp it off. And then I'm going to stamp it onto my perfume. So there's that. I'm going to leave this open because I'm going to be um, using that color more. So that's the stamping I'm going to do there. And I'm going to set that aside. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take our Whisper White. And this piece is um, one, two, three, four, and three, excuse me, three and three quarters by five. And we are just going to do some random stamping, okay? So for the Blushing Bride, I'm going to stamp the double flower that's in the stamp set. I'm just reading Linda's comment. Having a 35-year-old daughter who is survivor and 33 who has also... Aw. I know. I lost my mom to breast cancer in um, 1985. And uh, she was only 45 years old. So, yeah, crazy stuff. Not, not something that we want too much to do with, that's for sure. All right, let's stamp these flowers. There is the Blushing Bride. That's wonderful, though, that she is a survivor. I have a high school friend that um, she went through the cancer, survived, just recently had surgery from kidney cancer and is working through that. And then her daughter just got a diagnosis of breast cancer. So she's being tested for the gene, too, to see if that's what the situation is. But you don't ever know when something like that's going to hit, right? Okay, so let's see here. The next thing I'm going to do is take Flirty Flamingo. And if you're just joining, I have decided to do a uh, card because October is Breast Cancer Month. So we're doing a pink card and using the Dress to Impress stamp set. So that is what we're doing right this moment. So the next flower I'm going to take, and I'm going to use Flirty Flamingo. And this one is a little bit brighter, um, but it works. Okay, so stamp that in here make sure that i'm getting the whole thing inked up i missed a spot there there we go and this is just like um like i said you're just going to stamp it on here random all right so there's that flower and then um let's see the next thing i'm going to do is i'm uh, sorry for my arms here just needing some um we are going to take the splotch, the larger small splotch, and this one, um, and we're going to ink it up and stamp it off and then stamp it inside of our roses or whatever kind of flowers these are. Now, when you're doing this, how many of you have made the mistake and, not, and forgot to stamp off? <laughs> uh, that happens, and I wouldn't be surprised if it happens to me. Okay. Ink it up, stamp it off, stamp. Ink, stamp off, stamp. You got to get yourself in the like this little routine, you know? <laughs> All right. Um, and I still have the uh, Blushing Bride open, so I am going to do the same thing um, with the Blushing Bride ones, okay? And ink, stamp off, ink. Stamp off ink. I almost did it. Okay. It's almost like you got to find a song to, to get the rhythm down, you know. Almost done here. Um, there we are. Okay. Beautiful. Uh, let's see here. The next thing that we're going to do is I am going to take, there's a little, uh, the little um, speckles. And I'm going to take the Flirty Flamingo and I'm just going to put some of those all in the background. Now, before we had all the beautiful designer paper that we have, 
this was a technique that we did to make designer paper. How many of you have been stamping a while and did this technique to make yourself a big sheet of designer paper and then cut it up to um, make cards or scrapbook pages for that matter? Okay, and I want some of the other color dots in here too, so I'm just going to put some of those here and there and everywhere as we are making our card for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Hey, hi Penny. What's the weather like in Florida? Is it warm? Okay, I am also going to take this splotch and I'm going to, the big fat one, and I'm going to stamp, ink it up and stamp it off. And then I'm just going to put some of that on the card. Okay. Oh, I want some on the side over here, up here, down here. And there we have it. Okay, we have our page, our designer paper created with our very own stamps. How about that? All right, so there we are. The next thing I'm going to do is put my stuff together. I have pre-stamped one of the, um, the roses here. We're going to use that on um, the little piece that I cut out over here. Um, not cut out, but um, did the Hello Fabulous on. All right, we are gonna put this 85, you girls, we, we gotta go to Florida. 85 in Florida, it's freezing here today. All right, there we are. Next thing we're ready to do is we are going to mount this onto the card base. And this is the four and a quarter by five and a, four by five and a quarter, excuse me. That's gonna go onto my Whisper White centered onto there, okay? All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is I need some dimensionals and all these goodies. All right, so we stamped this at the beginning and we used our blends, the Flirty Flamingo blends, um, to create this uh, beautiful ribbon that coordinates. Um, I'm going to use the dark Flirty Flamingo, and I think I may have shared this before, but one of the ways that you can make your card look like it's layered, it, that you have a layer behind it, is take your blends and just go along the edges and give it that pretty little uh, color right along the edges. Doesn't have to be perfect, you guys. It's a handmade card. All right, so there we are. Hello, fabulous. And we are going to take this ribbon and we're going to twist it like the breast cancer icon thing we see everywhere. Um, I'm gonna get a glue dot here and for sake of forgetting to grab my pick tool, I'm going to use my finger and that's going to be put together just like that with the glue dot. And uh, let's, um, I'm going to trim this a little bit. I think I got to trim that one too, just a little. All right. Okay. This is going to, <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to go on to this pretty little designer perfume and hello fabulous okay and so that's gonna go right here just like that and i shared that i had pre um stamped and cut one of these out so you didn't have to watch me cut i think you guys all know how to do that pretty well if you're just joining, let me know. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Um, we are doing a breast cancer card, breast cancer encouragement card. And <clears throat> this um, 
is just using a very feminine set mm -hmm. with some cute stuff and hello fabulous to encourage somebody okay so that's going to go right there onto that piece and then we are just going to pop this up and this card is complete all right and one in the middle beautiful okay we're almost done okay all right so this is just going to go right here just like that isn't that pretty here let me take it off all this stuff but look at that that is really a pretty card um okay and then the last thing we're gonna do is we have got to add some gems onto this card mm -hmm. and so i'm gonna grab yay i'm glad you like it elsie thanks for joining i appreciate you being here we just finished a, a card that um, I created because it's uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so I wanted to do a pink card. And um, this is what we came up with here. So I am going to add some gems. And these are the Elegant Faceted Gems. These are the ones that you can get um, in the uh, Peony Suite. And that is in our main catalog. All right, so I'm going to use the, these are clear with like a, I don't know what you call it. Where did I want to put this one? I think I, I think I'm going to put it right up here. No, that's not where I want it. Where do I want that? I'm going to put it right here underneath perfume. There we go. The fun part about these is that it takes on the color of whatever is um, you put it on. So, um, so some are going to look like um, the design or the color and some are going to look like white see it takes on the color that they're at can you see that guys anyway it's really pretty very pretty and before i finish i think i need to stamp a little flower on the inside you know right why not oh thank you thank you i love it when you guys give me hearts and and likes I appreciate that I'm glad that you like this card so I think I'm gonna use yeah I'm gonna use the double flowers here and ink that up and put one right there and one up here just like that okay there we are. And then you can put your handwritten note in there. So there is our first card. All right. So there's the first one of the night. We have, uh, I have two more. Uh, oh, I got to show you this. Okay. So this is the one we just created. This is the one that was inspired by um, um, another demonstrator, Christy Gridley. Okay. This is hers. And this is the one that I did because I wanted to use the designer paper and it turned out really cute too, I think. I like it. It's more pink, more pink. Um, but this is one of the papers that's on sale um, for 15% off um, until the 31st. So you can order through the 31st. Um, and let's see here. This, this is from... Uh, the In Good Taste, where am I? Get you in the camera. In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. Now this package has a gazillion sheets in it. Um, and there's blues and pinks and grays and tans and all of that. So that is where I got this designer paper that I used um, for this, this card. Okay, so there's my two designs that I came, this one I came up with, with that on the background. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right. So there we are. All right. So now I've got a couple projects that I want to share. Um, and one is a super easy card. And um, so if you've got, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have somebody that you can send one. That'd be great, Elsie. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to use the um, cling set rustic retreat 
And this set can be used for more than Christmas, okay? Uh, I am going to make a Christmas card, um, but this is a set that I've used a lot in the past for some of my um, uh, Monday night stamping, which, by the way, uh, you can still RSVP through tomorrow. Um, and uh, let me know if you're coming. It's also on Stamp with Barb under events. You can go there and RSVP, and then I will reach out and um, find out your email and get more information from you and that kind of thing. But this, we are going to be using um, uh, Garden Green. I have already pre-ran um, this through the uh, Subtle Embossing Folder. We're going to use some very vanilla. Some of our um gold cardstock i don't want that to blind your eyes but our gold gold um foil paper excuse me and yes there's a punch already out i'm going to tell you about that in a second then we're going to use some of the twall um designer paper that's also 15 percent off this package is 978 uh, for a package of the designer paper um okay just have to get the rest of my parts and pieces out here and we will get this card going all right so like I said we're gonna use garden green and we are um, so this is a retired punch that we're using but um, it's vanilla and, and you can use any punch so you can adapt this to any punch that you have and then what I've done is I've cut I've done this before use the punch punch this piece out in the gold right here and then I took the gold and I cut it in half and I'll show you how we're going to use that. We have the same ribbon except it's gold trim. So it's vanilla with gold trim. So we just use the white with the silver trim. This is the gold trim. And then we're going to use some of these beautiful oh that we there's they're the gold they're the me metallic pearls. So there's gold and silver metallic pearls. So we're going to use those. This is a super easy card. All right, what I need is we are going to use the um, Sending Warm Christmas. We're going to use this little guy. Okay, and that's what we're using. Okay, now let me see here. Oh, you know what? I don't have my in. I don't have my vanilla for the inside. Darn. Okay, guess we we might use that. All right. Um. I'm just missing a piece of vanilla for the inside. <laughs> all right. So the stamping that we're going to do, I'm going to put all these up here over to the side. I need to grab my scrap paper here again. And we're going to use the garden green. And that is going to be stamped with the Sending Warm Christmas wishes. So let's ink that up. Okay. And that's going to be stamped right in the center here, making sure I'm still in the screen for you guys. There we are. Okay. There we are on that one. And if you have the inside, my plan was... <laughs> to um stamp the um this little guy so i think what we're going to do i'm just going to use this so i am going to take my pine bow stamp it stamp it again and we have a nice little sprig um, for the inside of our card and of course um, stamping on your envelope is a nice little touch too so you want to Remember to do that. Okay, there is the stamping part. So let's just put this together so you can see how this all works. So to save on your gold foil, what I've done is this is going to go right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some adhesive on the sides here. And again, you want to stay on the edges for this because you've got, um, you know, you've punched out in this piece. So, and come down here and center that in my foil. All right. There we are. And then uh, we have our card base. 
and before we put the card base together we're going to take this ribbon and that's going to go around the very bottom so i am going to take my adhesive where is my sheet here take my adhesive and put it on the very bottom so that this will go around okay so it's all about the gold right now the green and gold all right and see on the other side of this paper i have another one cut out here you guys the other side of this particular paper is the same exact design but in red so these are kind of the traditional christmas colors with this twill paper that is on sale okay we are ready to pop this up and I need dimensionals. If you don't have dimensionals, you know what? Those are a girl's best friend when you're stamping or scrapbooking, either one. Okay, just like that. And we're going to attach this to our garden green. And again, um, the, it's, I've already ran it through the subtles and fold, folder, so I don't, emboss folder, so I don't know how well you can see the design, but it's on there. And look at that. Those things are everywhere. <laughs> okay, and this is going to come right up towards the top of my card in the center, just like that. Then... Okay, remember I said we took this and cut it in half? I think I've showed you this before, but basically what you're going to do is you are going to attach this gold at the top and the bottom. And that is going to make it look like you have already, you have a um, nice layer behind your vanilla punch, punch out. All right, come up a little bit. There we go. And I'm using my silicone mat because none of the adhesive will stick to that. And I have my paper down here, so don't want that uh, sticky all over my paper. So let's see. And that's going to go at the bottom, just like that. All right. And I need a couple more dimensionals. So I am going to put one here and here. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and put one on either end of this, just like that. All right, get those pieces out of the way or off the, the backings off is what I meant to say. Okay. All right. We're almost done. This is going to go right here on the front of my card. Make sure I'm still in the view of the camera here. <laughs> All right. So this is going to go right here. Oh my gosh, there you are. But now we're going to add those little pearls if I can find out where they went. Right here they are. We need the pick tool. And these are going to actually, um, you just, here, I'm going to move this to the side a little bit and put these over here so you can see. Basically, this you have one end that has sticky, and that sticky grabs onto your, um, Oh, it grabs onto your uh, gem and then you have adhesive on the back of there. So I am going to do one right here. going to do another over here. And I'm going to add some onto my um, ribbon because it sticks to the ribbon. The glue dots are really nice for sticking to the ribbon. Okay, there that we'll get that one since it's deciding to come along. <laughs> All right, there we are. So, card is finished. I might have to take a glue dot. So on the the pick tool, I don't know if you guys realize, but you've got the pointy piece here, and then you've got this flat piece on the other side that you just push in there, and then you turn it and it stays. Um, Wow, Elsie, that's a lot of Christmas cards I just saw. You you got a hundred done. That's awesome. Um, I need a glue dot. That I get my train of thought back on here where I was at. But basically, I'm going to take this glue dot with my pick tool, 
and I am going to come underneath underneath here and so that my ribbon will hold down there a little better. There we go. All right, that's it. That card is complete. What do you think? Make sure I'm in the camera here because there's a delay from what I'm doing to showing up uh, on the page. And so I wanted to make sure that it was in the screen. All right, awesome stuff. So there is a Christmas card idea for you using the twelve paper, and of course you can use whatever punch you have that will make that will work for for this set. Okay, all right. And the last thing I have for you guys is a super cute, um, I guess it's a, like a treat box. Okay, um, here one second. I have to make sure. Oh, I forgot to put this on the inside of the card. Let me do that before I get moving along here. Yeah, it is nice and quick, Nancy. I agree. There we go. There, 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 there. Beautiful. All right. Um, so what I was saying is I just need to move some things out of the way here because off the camera I have like a gazillion things that are just I need some space <laughs> how many of you guys are stampers that that happens to quite often you you have this big space to start out with and then you get this tiny little space and you're like whoa I need some space all right um okay so like I said the next thing I'm going to do is a little packaging idea um, so I am going to be using our three and one eight by three and one eight acetate boxes. They come flat and you get, um, 10 in a package. So that's pretty cool. And we are going to be using the stamp set called festive post. You guys, there are some cute things in here. I know I have showed in the past about this, um, this stamp set. Um, but I decided we're going to, I'm, I'm going to be in a swap. And so, um, this is one of the, this is my, um, my swap that I'm going to be doing. So all said, I'll get my little things here. So what I've done is I have purchased some of this really cool iridescent, um, shred that goes inside the box. Okay. So that's what's in there for now. And I've just um, I haven't sealed it completely. All I did was fold this up and fold in the sides. So there's what I have there. Um, and then we are going to do some non-traditional colors. You need a lot more space, Jackie. I know. I hear you. Oh, you ordered the festive post today? Oh, yeah. We talked about that, didn't we? Um, so festive post goes with the postage um stamp or punch that we have in the catalog um this the festive post here let me i've got stamps here that i need to clean that's why i said well, i need to clean as i go anyway festive post this is in the june or excuse me um july to december mini catalog <laughs> the punch is in the main catalog because there are there is a stamp set in the main catalog that um, goes with this punch also. So we're going to um, use that punch. And uh, let's see here. I need the little tree. We're going to use the little tree and the snowflake and the Merry Christmas. And uh, we're going to use this beautiful ribbon that was just in my... Um, for unto us class oh my goodness those cards are so gorgeous snowflake splendor ribbon okay if you don't have this ribbon you need it because it takes on the color of whatever you're doing so it's gorgeous it's gorgeous darling it's just gorgeous all right so here we are let me grab my scrap white paper here put my little sparklies out of the way all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch um, a white out of the festive punch because I want to make sure that I um, stay within the punched area. And the best way to do that is to go ahead and pre-punch my 
white that I'm going to be stamping on. So the colors we're going to use here is the Highland Heather and Seaside Spray. Those are the two colors that we're going to use for stamping. All right. And uh, first thing is we are going to stamp the little tree. So I'm going to ink that up full strength. Okay. And um, it's going to go this way. Make sure I'm still in the camera. Yep. And so I'm going to stamp the tree once and then get my, and then I'm going to um, stamp it over here. And you notice I'm not inking up any again. And then the last time, actually I am going to ink it up once and stamp it off and then stamp here. Okay, so I've got a variation in the colors with my tree. There you go. Okay, I gotta get my cleaner up here or I'm gonna have inky stamps everywhere. <laughs> okay, there we are. Now we are going to use our seaside spray and we are going to stamp the pretty little snowflake. Now these are all in the same, the stamp, they're all in here. And you know what, I need to move this out of the way because I got a stamp off of there. And there we go. All right, seaside spray. We're gonna do full strength and then stamp off. And another full strength. Now when you go off the sides, don't forget, you don't wanna stamp again because then you're gonna have a line in the middle because you have, um, uh, only stamped half of the ink. Does that make sense? And you'll have funky looking stuff going on. So, all right. So there we go. Got snowflakes happening with my pretty trees. And that's all I'm going to do on the snowflake. Okay. Oh. oh, wait. I still need this color. Goodness. There we go. Okay. So I have one of my little strips that I like to use a lot. Um, and uh, I am going to stamp the saying, and let's see how good I can do this. It says, enjoy this season. Okay. And I um, am going to stamp this kind of over to the side. That's pretty good. Okay. And then now I'm done with this, so I am going to close it before I get it on me. Okay. Now, I don't know. Um, one of the things you can do, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a um, banner punch. We do have a new banner punch. I don't have that. So I'm going to be using our retired little tiny banner punch that is quite old. Um, okay. And then what I'm going to do is come in here and I am going to just put this all the way. If I take this and pull it up. Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to slide it in the little hole here, just like that. Finally. And that is not what I want. I want it this way. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's, let's see if I can do this again. There we go. Oh, my word. I think I did this one other time, you guys. There. So what I'm trying to do is get the banner at the very end over here. Goodness gracious. All right. And then I'm just lining it up so it's centered and then punch. Now, all of that, I could have taken my scissors and did that. But it's it's this is just nice. Gives it a nice, even, even look. Okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use these beautiful little mini glue dots, not mini glue dots, Barb. These are mini dimensionals. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to take that and I will put that on the very front of my piece here, just like that. And then I have already pre-punched purple posy cardstock with the uh, postage label punch there and I am going to mount this onto my postage label or my punch out of the posy and we're just going to come over to the side and at the bottom a little bit just like that all right we're almost done 
there's our piece that's going to go onto the box. Okay, so here's our box. Our beautiful doilies. I'm going to use this doily. And here I need this um, silicone mat because I'm just going to, first of all, get that little dot out of the way. And then I'm just going to put adhesive in the middle here. And then that's going to get glued to my box. It fits on here beautifully. Look at that. It's the, just the perfect size. And then I have pre-cut um, a square of the snowflake, excuse me, snowflake wishes paper. And you guys, this um, is also on sale 15% off. <coughs> I was just going to see the size here real quick. Um, two and a half by two and a half is the um, size that the paper is um, has been cut to. And it gives you that really pretty um, uh, purple in there. So that's going to go here, just like that. Okay, the last thing that we're going to do is go ahead and add this gorgeous ribbon. And so the way I'm going to do this, because um, let's see here, this opens this way. So darn. Um, I'm going to see if I can peel this off. I should have paid attention to this because I want this paper. Yeah, I can do this. This works. I want... There we go. I want this purple at the top left. Just like that. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to come around here with this and we are going to cut and tape this down. So just like that because this piece is not going to come off this is not going to be the one to untie to open the box okay um and let's see here glue dots glue dots where's my glue dots it's called what is it called um not uh i don't know what what i want to say there's a game it made me think of a game <laughs> when i said that uh, Oh, Red Rover, Red Rover. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so there we are. That's going to be covered up. So there's that. All right, next thing is we just need some more of this ribbon, and we're going to tie a bow. And this ribbon, I will have to tell you, it is a little bit stiffer ribbon, um, but it works. It works. Um, you can still tie a bow and works fabulous. All right, let's see, that should be enough. So I'm gonna bring this in here and I'm gonna tie a bow, just like that. Okay, who's gonna come hold the, the bow for me? I need to do that, I'm gonna use my pinky. No, I'm gonna use that finger. I think I can do it with that finger. All right, I'm gonna hold this and come around. Hopefully I can make this work. Well, okay, there we go. It's down tight enough. There we are. All right, pull that through, make your beautiful bow. Oh, it's looking pretty. Okay, there's that. And last, we are going to, almost last, uh, we're gonna take some more dimensionals, This, uh, the larger ones this time. All right, so who has put their order in for the designer paper? You guys, I the, I think this is one of the best sales that they've had on the designer paper, and we have beautiful designer papers this year. I really like every one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, and then this little guy, it's just going to go kind of to the side like that, just like that. Isn't that gorgeous? If you could just see the, oh, those, you know what? I do need those tweezers, Jackie. I do need those tweezers. So I don't know if you guys can see how cool this looks with all the iridescent sparkle. It's so great. But wait, there is more. Adhesive back snowflakes. You guys, this just adds the little extra sparkle. I mean, this is just sparkle, sparkle. 
All right. Make sure that you're sharing the video um, with others so that they can find out how to do some fun stamping and just make projects with this season you know you guys i think it's going to be a homemade crafting season for a lot of people and i have lots of ideas i have some home decor stuff um you know of course cards all occasion cards so that we can um you know pass those uh uh, cards along to others so that they will be mailing out cards to people and just give that little bit of happy mail um, to someone. Oh, you guys, I, I wish you, you know, I say this every single time that we do the lives, but I'm telling you that this is just so gorgeous. There we go. With these little teeny snowflakes. Look at them sparkle. Okay, I got to add one more because you always want to do it in odd numbers okay so i think what should i do up here here i think i should do right here there we go okay that is it that is our 3d project so let me grab and get all these things out of the way so you can see the samples that i have left to show you here yay thank you thank you for the likes and the hearts okay so let me just uh get these things out of the way so that i have some space need some space right um okay so let me get those things we'll show you those so i have been working on uh some samples with this stinking cute stamp set called freezing fun all right now these can work for winter birthdays um these can work for your girlfriends uh and then i've also comp uh you know put it together with the itty bitty christmas i've used designer paper which goes with these so great thanks elsie um so let me show you these cards now if you like this set, you have to have the um, embossing machine. So the cut and embossing machine. So look at this. How stinking cute is that? That's using the um, um, the, wish, the snowflake paper. I don't know if you can see. Um, I can see in the light, but base and I and I spritz the um, wink of Stella um, on here. So. Tis the season to be freezing. Cute, cute, cute. Look at this one. This is with the heartwarming hugs designer paper, I believe it's called. And um, it's just so cute. I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm trying to hold it. I'm looking. At, so, you know, my, um, oh, what do I want to say? When I, um, it's such a delay that I can't really see on the screen. Okay, I love this one. It's blues, and the little um, penguin is throwing snowballs at his um, bunny friend. Now, those I used the stamp set that's in this, uh, this, the words that are in the set themselves. Okay. Now, this one I have paired up with the itty bitty Christmas, like I said. Um, and look at this one. Now this, the rest, the couple of the, the last, the next couple are using the at home, home for coming home. Oh, I don't have the, it's, um, oh, let me see. What is the paper? Let me grab the sale paper and find out. This paper is uh, trimming the town. I wasn't even close. Trimming the town. So I've used trimming the town here in the next couple. Okay, so this one is the polka dots that are behind there. Isn't that great? Christmas cheer. And then here is one of them using the old olive. And I just used some of those uh, faceted gems. Is that what they're called? Elegant, elegant faceted gems. And um, use the trees. And thinking of you at Christmas, I used the stitched, uh, stitched, labeled dies so there's oval circles and squares in there 
and this one is just cute. This is, um, I use the Early Espresso with Old Olive in white. And this cute ribbon comes in a pack. It's in the, it's in the um, suite with the heartwarming hugs, all of that. Okay, and then the next one is um, Happy Christmas. And this is using the mountains that are in the paper. And then look at this. This is where my inspiration for that um, uh, 3D project with the box came from, with the purple. The same thing, same paper with the, um, the snowflake paper. And using the snowflakes, it's just, look at the sparkle on that. Can you see? I hope. This one is from uh, For Unto Us. This Merry Christmas is For Unto Us. So anyway, that's what I've been working on a little bit. Um, and I um, hope that you enjoyed those. And if you like the freeze and fun, let me know. I um, can easily do a uh, card kit with this. And again, all my card kits are to go or in person. I usually will have a date that we can do... Um, you know, up to five is about all I can do with the social distancing. And uh, so there's that. So for tonight, what did we do? We made um, this card. And we made the breast cancer card. And the last one was our 3D box. You see, yep, they all fit right in there, just like that. So um, I hope that you enjoyed tonight. Thank you um, for tuning in and make sure to set your notifications to get that um, notice every time that I have the class or the, the Facebook Live. This is for you. The, I'm doing this so that you guys can get some ideas so you use your support.